Why, Handy, that's just about the smurfiest thing you've ever smurfed. Thank you, Papa Smurf. Oh, Baby just loves it. <laughs> <laughs> when you're a little smurfling, the world is filled with wonder. <sighs> Papa Smurf, Papa Smurf. Why, Natural Smurf, what's wrong? Something's happened to the River Smurf. The fish are acting very, well, peculiar. We'd better look into this immediately. You're absolutely right, Papa Smurf, as you always say. Brady, uh, you and Clumsy take care of baby. But Papa Smurf! Gosh, Brady, are we lucky? <laughs> we get to stay and play with baby! Lucky? Lucky? Every time something exciting happens, you and I get stuck with daddy duty. Oh, golly, Brady. Nothing's more important than taking care of baby. Hmm. If only Papa Smurf were more cognizant of my exceptional talents. But, oh, no. I have to take care of Baby. My word! I've never seen anything like it. What do you think it is, Papa Smurf? I'm afraid it's magic pollution. Magic pollution? We must find where this is coming from. Nat, you'd better lead the fish, frogs, and any thirsty forest animals upstream where the water is safe. Right away, Papa Smurf. Look at this, Papa Smurf. Here's where it's coming in. Oh, Papa Smurf, what will we do? Andy, I want you to build a dam. Keep this stuff out of the river Smurf. Smurfette and I will follow it to its source. Good is done, Papa Smurf. Well, Smurfette, I think we found the source of the magic pollution. Gargamel's muck pond. Yes, he's been throwing his failed experiments into the pond. Ah, how unsmurfy. Hide, someone is coming. I tell you, Azriel, things have got to get better. Where? I've tried everything to get those rotten little Smurfs, yet they always seem to elude me. Drat! A magical giant formula to make me big enough to stump the Smurfs' village flat failed. Enchanted Smurficides to wipe out all those little blue beggars once and for all. Worthless! A mystical reduction potion to reduce the forest to the size of a doormat so the Smurfs will have no place to hide. Useless! Oh, Asriel, I'd give anything to get my hands on one lousy little Smurf. Ah! Run! Ah! 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 Baby, what's going on? Look out, you stupid cow! <laughs> run, Smurf! Run! <laughs> Look what you've done, you miserable free man! <laughs> this way, Smurfhead! to my laboratory and find an anti-pollution solution. There's no telling what effect Gargamel's magic pollution might have on living creatures. Oh, I feel terrible. Oh, just terrible. <sighs> Swallowing that pond water has made me nauseous. Wait till I get my hands on that feline fur ball. You, oh. Oh, I'm, I'm so sick. Oh, oh, oh I'd better get some rest. Oh, oh. Hmm. Pi R squared. No, no, that's not it. Pies are round. Uh, hmm. Uh, so, Papa Smurf, um, can I help you with your anti-pollution solution? No, thank you, Brainy. Well, as you always say, Papa Smurf, two Smurfs are better than one. Brainy, why don't you and Clumsy take Baby for a walk in the forest? It would seem to me Clumsy could do that simple task alone. As you just said, Brainy, two Smurfs are better than one. Uh, yeah, Brainy, you just said that. <laughs> oh, very well, Papa Smurf. If I said it, it must be true. Let's see now. Hmm. Yes, well, no. Huh? What? what? Ooh, that stupid cat. Oh, oh, I feel rotten. I'm coming, you howling bit of buzzard bait. I've got a score to settle with you. Don't 
Don't try to be friendly with me. It won't work, you little fuzzball. Because of you, I fell into the muck pond. <coughs> now I've caught cold. Or oh, something. Egad! Ah, I'm shrinking. <coughs> it's all your fault, you miserable flea-bitten wretch. <coughs> my potions to cure myself, Azriel. <coughs> and you, you fur, 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 friendly little kitty. <laughs> now, now, now. <laughs> nice kitty. <coughs> I must find someone who can help me. There's only one wizard that might have the solution. I never thought I'd hear myself say this, but... Papa Smurf! Help me, Papa Smurf! Papa Smurf! Any Smurf! Help! Help! How could I be so stupid? Me, 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 you feather-brained idiot! I should have disposed of my chemicals more carefully. Go lay an egg, blabba peak! Oh no! Oh, it's happened again! <laughs> now I'm the size of a field mouse! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> oh, phew. Oh, I'll be safe in here. Yow! Eureka! I found it, Smurf, and I found it! Oh, thank goodness, Papa Smurf! We must get my anti-pollution solution into the river Smurf immediately. This will counteract Gargamel's magic pollution, Matt. Oh, it's working, Papa Smurf. Yes, the river is safe. Oh, thank goodness. Now I can let all the creatures drink. And the frogs and fish can come home. Unfortunately, Smurfette, you and I must go to Gargamel's and clean up his mock pond as well. Oh, thank goodness that weasel is gone. Oh, hey, Briny, can we rest a while? Sure. What difference does it make? Oh. Oh, gee, Brainy, don't be upset because Papa Smurf didn't ask for your help. He almost never asked me for help. How true. As Papa Smurf always says, Brainy, you and Clumsy take care of baby. <laughs> yeah, Brainy, we make a pretty good team, huh? Wow, Christian. Yeah. You better put me down, you overgrown. Oh, baby, what you got there? Uh, it's Gargamel! <gasps> Gosh, what happened to him? I'm shrinking, you little blue twit. What does it look like? Papa Smurf is the only one who can reverse this horrible spell. You've got to take me to him. Hmm. That is precisely what I intend to do. <laughs> After all, Clumsy, how can Papa Smurf ignore the value of the Smurf who captured Gargamel? Gargamel can stay in Baby's Toy Village until Papa Smurf gets back. Oh, this is revolting. Oh, Papa Smurf, your anti-pollution solution works so smurfily. Yes, Smurfette. I only hope no creatures were affected by the terrible pollution. Amazing. Simply amazing. But true, Papa Smurf, you must help me, please. I beg of you, you're my only hope. But first, Papa Smurf, I'm sure you will agree that a victory speech is in order. <laughs> if I were only normal. First things first, Brandy. Huh? Oh, no! No! Amazing! <laughs> what, what will I do? It's your own fault, Gargamel. This is what happens when you disregard Mother Nature's rules. Oh, Papa Smurf, Papa Smurf, please. I'll never do it again. If only you return me to my normal size. I think we should help this poor, miserable creature, Papa Smurf. Oh, very well, Gargamel. But I am not such a fool as to return you to your normal size right here in the village. Oui, oui, Papa Smurf. That would be most foolish. 
We'll take him out into the forest, where a full-size Snorkamel will do no harm. How might I assist you, Papa Smurf? Uh, you and Clumsy take care of Baby. Well, he's done it again. Huh, well, as Papa Smurf always says... Oh, shut up, Clumsy. Oh, no, Brady, Papa Smurf never says that. You do. What's a Smurf to do? Wait until I'm well clear, Annie. Can we get on with it? All right, Gargamel. Hold your breath. Oh, oh my. I hope we didn't smash it. <laughs> Nothing happened. I'm still the same. Oh, you miserable excuse for a wizard. Your solution is a failure. You'll never wore any good, you broken down old goat. Oh, no! Amazing! Be that! I've shrunk to the size of a bug! Hmm. I'm afraid even my anti-pollution solution cannot help you, Gargamel. Oh, Papa Smurf! Will I never be cured? Well, it seems you shrink every time you do something bad. Uh, perhaps if you did something good, Gargamel, you might get bigger. Something good? You must be joking. Good? Me? I'm afraid it's your only hope. Papa Smurf, Papa Smurf, a butterfly is caught in a spider's web. I must free it, Papa Smurf. Hmm. Uh, just a moment, Matt. This might be a chance to test my theory, Gargamel. Oh, this is the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. What possible good can doing good do? Simply ridiculous. Sacre <laughs> 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 bleu cheese! Look out, Gargamel! The spider! Uh, he gets! <laughs> Help! Help me! Help me! Yeah! You were right, Papa Smurf. Helping that butterfly did make me grow. Uh, uh, at least a little. Yes, Gargamel, there's plenty of good to be done in the world. Sometimes it seems there's so much good to be done, it's hard to keep up. You're telling me? And I see some good you can do right now. What do you say we help those poor squirrels? Whoopee. Well, that's the last nut, Papa Smurf. Very good, Gargamel. I must have carried a thousand nuts up there, and look at me! I haven't grown an inch! Be patient, Gargamel. The effects of good deeds sometimes take a while. Oh. You see, Gargamel? Your good deeds are reversing the effects of your magic pollution. Mm, true, but how soon will I be normal again? That's hard to say. You must keep up the good work. Yuck, impossible! Oh, Papa Smurf, if Gargamel spent some time in our village, he'd find that doing good is easy. A Smurfy idea, Smurfette. Please, Gaga Smurf, hold still. Oh, Gaga Smurf. Never have I seen such knobby knees, such crooked legs, such a flabby. Just sew the stupid pants, you babbling blue, blue. Oh, no. Gargamel? Blue head, blue teeth, a little smurf. <laughs> Why, <laughs> never have I seen such talent, such creativity in a smurf tailor. <laughs> How good of you to say so, Gaga Smurf. You Gaga Smurf. Ouch! So, I want every smurf to help Gargamel do good deeds. <laughs> kind of dangerous to have him here, Papa Smurf? No, because the spell he's under will keep him from doing us any harm. I hate this. I hate this, too. Go, Happy, go! It is a very good deed for you to have me mix my pants, Gargo Smurf. Oh, anything to keep from getting smaller. Hey! No, no, Gaga Smurf. I did not intend for you to mix them that way. But I must admit, you are one colorful Smurf. <laughs> oh, Gargamel. It's certainly good of you to water my flowers. We'll make a good little Smurf out of you yet. I don't want to be good, you hear me? I want to be bad, bad, bad. Oh, my flowers. You stop that this instant. I can't stand. 
and being good. Oh no! Oh, not again! Oh my! Oh, I love flowers. I'll get more water and, and, and make sure that they're never thirsty. I'll, I'll, I'll pull out the weeds. Whew. Oh, that was close. <laughs> you sure look funny in that smurf hat, Gargamel. Don't bug me, you little blue twerp. Oh, I mean, what I mean is I'm, I'm very depressed over all of this shrinking business. Really? Well, here, this will cheer you up. <laughs> it's a surprise. Ah, uh, a present? For me? Yeah, you'll get a bang out of it. <laughs> well, well. Uh-oh. Why, you little... Oh, oh no. Uh, 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 thank you for the present. <laughs> it certainly has cheered me up. <laughs> oh, I can't take much more of this. You're the only Smurf that doesn't make me crazy. I just can't seem to do anything good enough to break this shrinking spell. <laughs> That's easy for you to say. You'll grow up someday. But me, I'm afraid that I'm going to be Smurf-sized the rest of my life. Oh, do that, It's good of you to help me fix my logging wagon, Gargamel. Yes, but I'm afraid it isn't good enough to do me any good. Patience, Gargamel. Papa Smurf knows what he's doing. Hand me a wrench, will you? Look out! Help me, Gargamel! But, 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 but what should I do? Try to lift it. Hurry. All right. <laughs> good, Gargamel. It's working. Yes, yes. I'm doing so good. It's making me grow. All right. I'm clear. Hey, you really are growing. Yes, I am. I am. <laughs> Soon I'll be normal size again. <laughs> Soon I'll be big enough to crush every smurf in sight! Oh, dear! <laughs> oh, no! I'm sorry, Gargamel. You're too dangerous to remain in the village any longer. Uh, uh, so sorry, Papa Smurf. What am I doing? I'm starting to act like them. Your magic pollution disease is just too unpredictable. Who needs your stupid village? I can do just as much good in the forest. Oh, what shall I do? What shall I do? <laughs> me, me, you stupid feather face. Oh, how I miss crushing bugs under my feet, stomping on flowers, screaming at little children. Oh, it could be worse, I suppose. It could be raining. <laughs> A beautiful day, Papa Smurf. Yes, it is, Taylor. A most beautiful day. Oh, oh, Papa Smurf, now that the pollution is gone, do you think it'd be all right to go swimming? Why, of course, Smurfette. A wonderful idea. Clumsy, I'm going for a swim. Uh, sure, Brady. Uh, okay, baby. I'll get you some more water. Uh, Lacey, keep an eye on baby. What a terrible night. I can't even go home with that stupid cat there. What's that? Ah, Smurfs. Just what I need. Breakfast. Oh, that's right. I forgot. I can't even scare the Smurfs anymore. Ugh. How can anything that small have so much fun? Yet, they may be all I have left to keep me company. Everything else wants to eat me or stomp on me. Even Azriel. <coughs> <coughs> Smurfling! Oh no! Asriel's going to get baby! Stop that, you flea 
bag. Why don't you pick on someone your own size? <laughs> hey, well, don't look at me. After all, I'm not your size either. <laughs> Miserable flea bag! <laughs> I'll make a pair of mittens out of your hide! Or maybe a rug! Oh, oh yes, a pair of socks! Or gloves! Or maybe even... <sighs> Good night, my little Smurfs! Good night, Papa Smurf! I was sure their village was near here. As I recall, Azriel, you turn left at the river... Or was it right? You stupid farmer!